Okay, well, they got some of their ships back to Europe, and they are beginning to ship new troops over. Uh, which means these guys are coming over, but there's not very many of them left, fortunately. What has hit me hard is they're, um, they're fortifying, and they're entrenching, and they've been attacking this town here, which they um, captured earlier. And so, oops, that was a bit of a bad shortcut. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to protect that town. And I also need to keep protecting that home colony. At this point, it doesn't matter too much what troops, are, uh, what got colonists I keep doing what jobs. I really just have to get on and defend. If I don't defend, I'm going to run into huge issues, huge problems, and I kind of already am. In fact, I don't know where my where my little uh, guy who pulls out all the org has gone, but there we go. We're starting to run into food issues, which is being a bit of a massive problem. Uh, let's bring him out of there. We need to get some food back in. There we go. We're not starving to death anymore. Um, oh, there's where the colonists went. I was trying to figure out. It randomly moves the colonists to some pretty random places. You see, they're all stuck up here on this lumber mill, so getting an insane amount of productivity, but that's uh, not useful as such. Get him out of there. There we go. Ah. Select him. Get some ore. Get my guns working again, because I need the guns. Unfortunately, they're all fortified on my land. And I'm still waiting for this big army to come down. Uh, we're doing okay. It's interesting, their bases are orange, but their troops are white. And my troops are orange, but my flags are sort of red and white. So, <laughs> that's not confusing. I don't really need that. Uh, let's just put it into artillery. Coastal 2 is going to be going through some starvation issues soon. Yeah, give me more! Good! It's going to help me. Do I want to try and take back that colony? Uh... Not today. Got the big army coming down, so we're getting really close to uh, possibly winning this. And making, not focusing on taking back, how many moves has he got left? Two out of three. Not focusing on taking back Coastal 3, this colony here, uh, has meant that they haven't landed more troops down here, so I've been able to slowly pick them away. They're, they're going for the port cities. So that's been very, very tactical. Come on, big army! Come on! Nation born out of ta not wanting to pay taxes and the military. Maybe that explains a few things about modern day, modern day uh, USA. Can we win it? <laughs> Short answer: No. Long answer: No. Ah, oh, the hell with it. They can lose. They're only little indebted servants. <laughs> Continental cavalry are just... They can't do anything. Look, they're better armed, they're better equipped. They're just... Uh, I don't know what they do. They do something. And I need, uh, I'm starting to um, free up colonists because I've got a lot of troops hanging around in cities which don't have... Can't even... It, this is what becomes hard about this game, is finding um, finding a needle in a haystack of guys you want to upgrade. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, there's n I'm sure there's got to be another one in there somewhere. Man, we, we have actually got quite a lot of guys in here. Okay, that's a good start. Oh yeah, see the, the veteran guys do better than the... Um, these guys. I don't know why. They just. Look. Oh, E1! <laughs> Maybe sampling bias. <sighs> Can't do it, eh? Can't do it. Alright, let's keep going. Yep, another one down. Another one bites the dust. And another one down. Another one down. 
they're gonna have quite a bit in there. They're gonna have a lot of troops. Uh, <laughs> I've just got loads and loads of troops sitting around doing nothing now. Like I can't make the guns fast enough. Can't get the horses fast enough. Can't get this fast enough. Can't get that fast enough. Um, oh. We've just gotta liberate. Gonna bring any more? Yep. Not the place they needed, but thanks. Uh, are they gonna bring those over? I'm not sure if they are or not. Arm armed everyone again. It is it is hard work taking out colonies. It really is. They are um, they're very well defended. They're very well looked after, it's, th yeah, they're, they're tough to take out. Hmm, I just don't know if I have enough supplies down here to do it. So, of course, they rearm everyone every turn, and I don't, it's a lot harder to take them, come on. on. They'll all be rearmed next turn, because, you know, you just seem to lose uh, so many troops. More uh, colonists. I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm unlucky with the Continental Army, or maybe I'm a bit biased, but they just don't seem to cut the mustard. They don't do the job. Every time. I mean, I, okay, that example, though, was some colony bonuses. Give me the old guy. Uh, may maybe they don't. They don't want it. They don't want it enough. Sitting in here. Might leave him in there. I don't know how I can get more guns out though. So I just can't get the units out. What if we boosted this colony a little bit with some units from over here. That's what we'll do. I kind of I, I don't want to get into a state of building lots more colony because I kind of feel like we're we're past that stage and we just need to um, focus on getting the job done. Oh, sweet! Yes! Yes! It's mine! No, it's not. Yes! Yes, this time! This time! This time! Yes, it's mine! Oh, it, it's, it's, it's ours again! Ah, oh, finally. Finally, what have you done to my beautiful colony? Twats? What have they done to my beautiful colony? Ah, oh, it was a lovely colony, and... I don't know what they did to it, but they, they ruined it. I wonder how many I lost. I think, uh, what kind of management is this? We just turf everyone down anywhere we want, eh? Is that is that what we're doing? We just we dump anyone anywhere we want? Because disappointing, man. Disappointing. Okay. Okay, he can make some lumber. Um, oh, they turned my custom house off. Really? Although, technically, I don't need to keep it on anymore. Sense of completion. There you go. It's mine. It is mine! We have l successfully liberated that colony, and there's not many troops that they have left. We are very close to... to to freedom! They can capture our colonies, but we will free them. Uh, we are very, very close to freedom. Very, very close. Very close. That's 
forces. Yes! Ooh, freedom! Royal Expenditure Forces Annihilated General Michael de Rata, which I didn't change my name, so there you go. Accept surrender of all Tory forces in brief ceremony. Parliament declares King unfit to rule and votes to accept independence of fantastical land. We are the Republic of Fantastical and Continental Congress programs. Mihail de Rata, the first president of the new republic. We're a republic. We have shunned taxes and birthed a nation in war. Oh, he, he looks slightly, uh, slightly embarrassed. <laughs> and they pretty much shun us for however long it takes. But, you know, there's plenty of other European colonies we can deal with and trade with. Let's get on to our all-important score. So, uh, thank you for watching the playthrough. I think that's, that's an okay score. Um, Explorer, yeah, of the Dutch. 600, a lot of citizens. A uh, fair bit of gold. We got uh, Liberty Bell bonus. Um, independence achieved. Two nations prize. So you get a only a bonus for of 25% for declaring. If I'd done it for the other two colonies, I would have got more points. Uh, the replay factor of this game is quite good in that you can replay it and try and get a higher score each time. It's not a long, long, long game. You like It's sort of a game you could probably play over the course of four or five hours. It's, it's not massively long. Um, and of course you get something named after you. Uh, I have achieved higher on this list. But I, th I think that's a pretty good result. A college named after me. So you can get these lesser ones, the infectious disease, stinging it. Insect, poisonous plant venoms, prison. If you don't get very many points, you get a prison named after you. A fast food chain. It'd be like McAm cheese. Uh, a street, a flower, a school, an apple, a bridge, a bird, a college. A college is it's relatively high. Um, Thirty percent. That's not a massive score. Not a massive score. I've 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 had much higher scores when I played this past, but this is the first time I've played it in about ten years. So I hope. I hope you enjoy my uh, enjoyed my playthrough. It certainly gives you the basics of the game. If I went, uh, I might go back through and play it again now, fresh in my memory. I've generally, in terms of getting better score, I've done better out of this area. Rum is worth heaps, even if you have lots of it. You get the early hit from silver early on, uh, and lots and lots of rum. And for those colonies, yeah, it, it works really well. Colonizing in North America, I've always found a little bit harder. For some reason, I don't make as much gold. General tips, stay away from the coasts. Don't split your colony like I did in this playthrough, um, unless you've got quite a lot of support going on. So keeping that southern colony was really, really tough. Now, obviously, I can keep playing, but there's not really any point at this, this point. Oh, there's a few of them, but uh, that's... <laughs> That's about it. They all disappear now. I can see the entire map. Yeah. So thank you for uh, thank you for watching. If you've watched this far, uh, I've put up this series in its entirety. I don't expect people to watch the entirety unless you know there might be a few people that do. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, like or subscribe if if because I want you to. Yeah. That that's good enough reason. Because I want you to. Ciao and later.